Well, a few months ago we heard from uh, Marty Woods. Uh, he's, a, he's an Aussie based here in Germany. And uh, I, I've asked uh, Marty to answer a question which we're going to be asking quite a few people to answer. And that is, uh, what does it take? For us to be effective? What does it take personally? What sort of person do I need to be to be effective and how can I become that person for Christ? Yeah, it's a good question. And I, I'm still on this journey but I think at the age of 52 uh, I've come across a few keys and I, uh, one of the main ones for me is you need a group of mates around. You need others that can speak honestly into your life, but more than that, that you share your world with someone. You know, if someone was to ask you right now, how many people really know what life is like for you? I wonder how long your list would be. It's a really important question because it measures the degree of community you experience. God didn't make us as lone rangers. Uh, and I, I love, you know, the Council of Jerusalem, it says it seemed good to us and the Holy Spirit. You know, together we have the mind of Christ. That's the first thing. And you, you look at any, you look at church history, any place, any place that was transformed, there was a group of people that were working together. Often it was just the small group of friends that were really committed to making a difference. So that's the first thing. And that calls you out. It's fellowship. But the other thing, you know, if you're going to really work together and do it, then there's two things that I've just learned that are so critical for it. First of all, it's prayer. Now the problem is, we all know that's important. It's like a motherhood statement, you know. But this is not prayer like God bless mummy, daddy and teddy. No, this is a prayer where we're together really crying. When was the last time you wept over your city? When was the last time you just felt God's heart for people who don't know him? And, and for me, that's what we need. We need people who are willing to do whatever it takes who love God and are prayerful and 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 just just want to be in touch with God and want to listen. You know, I love little Samuel. Okay, it was the third time, but what does he pray? Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. God's wanting to speak to us the whole time. But unless we deal with all the other chaos inside of our head and get that removed, ah, we won't be able to hear what he wants to say. So, you know, there's fellowship, there's prayer. But the third one, it's people, and I'm just seeing this more and more. David in Psalms says, I've stored your word.